Sunday, y'all. Um, it's a little bit rough weather. Um, so I'm out here trying to do what I gotta do so I can get home. But happy Sunday, y'all. Um, I am on my way home. I, I just ran to Aldi because they want some freaking roast and potatoes and carrots and all that good stuff for dinner. So, um, I ran to Aldi before I go run my other errands. I'm going to run back home and put the roast on so it can be cooking because it's already 1240. So, I think if I have the roast on by like one and then have it on high for six hours, that'd be like a good time to eat. But what's up, gang? Good morning. Well, good afternoon. Happy Sunday. Today is March 26th. It's Sunday, March 26th. Uh, and yeah, I'm super excited. Just about a title. Y'all already know. I'm so excited. We got a puppy. We got a puppy. His name is Benji. He's so cute. He's a Yorkie. And I just love him so freaking much, y'all. Y'all know I have wanted a puppy for the longest. And babe finally gave in. And we got a puppy. And I'm so excited. So I will definitely show y'all some clips of him playing. I will show y'all him. Um, but for now, I am going to head home. So I can put the roast going. I got everything from Aldi. I spent like 20 to 20 something dollars. Because um, I got trash bags as well. These are the Lavender Scent Flex Trash Bags. These are really good. You get 40 for like six bucks. So I got the roast. Um, I'm following this TikTok by this um, lady named Lady K. And she's like a, a TikTok chef or whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and try her recipe. And yeah, I do need you guys to know that I'm now accepting the members of the Danny Gang. So if you wanna be a member of the Gang Gang Gang, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. After the bell, put your kiss up. Y'all gotta fight me. After you fight me, you will jump in a lifetime member. Period. So yeah, I didn't put any makeup on. I just threw my braids in the bun. They still look good. Like I said, I would definitely be going to see her again. Um, because she did a good job. So this is like week two with these braids and they look good. So yeah, but having a new puppy has been so nice. He's so good. He's so sweet. Um, he hasn't been barking too, too much or anything like that. Um, he's potty trained. He knows how to go to the restroom. Um, as far as like going to the front door and waiting right there. He's so precious y'all. So yeah, his name is Benji. So y'all welcome him to the family in the comments down below um because i just love him um i do need to do my nails today i got some press on so i'm gonna do my nails a little bit later y'all know i go between press and the nail shop but i'm gonna do press this time i'll probably get my nails done in about a week or so because y'all know our anniversary is april 10th and of course we're going out of town so yeah i am excited about that what else we got going on? I think that's about it. Uh, already like did our cleaning. All of our clothes are washed for the week. I did take out some ground turkey. So I'll probably cook that up for the week. Um, so that we can grab it for like lunches, salads, wraps, or whatever. So I took some of that out. I took a couple of steaks out. Um, it's two steaks, but they're probably both gonna be for babe. I took them out so that he could probably have them like in morning, in the morning with eggs. Cause y'all know, first of all, I'm not really a steak person, and I'm definitely not a steak person with these braces. Like, no. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to come and say hello. I did not um, do anything to my edges. I literally just took my bonnet off and walked out the door. So yeah. I will show y'all everything that I got from Aldi when I get home, and I'll also show y'all Benji. So, let's go. I'm excited for y'all to meet him. He is adorable. So, yeah. All right, so, yeah, everything I got from Aldi, like I told y'all, excuse my nails, I'm gonna do them tonight. But yeah, got some trash bags because we were out. Lavender scent. Um, I got these garlic mashed potatoes to go like under the roast or we already have rice so i just picked these up i got a coke because she used the coke in her recipe 
Um, I got a ranch season pack because she used that as well. I got some carrots. I needed a cucumber. And then here is the roast. I'm gonna sear it on both sides and then I'm gonna put it in the crock pot. So yeah. Um, so yeah, let me do that, then I'll show y'all Benji. Okay, so I am steering, steering that truck roast on both sides. Um, I usually let it sit on all sides for like four minutes on each side. So yeah, that's just what I'm doing now. Then I'm gonna add it to the crock pot with all the other ingredients. Okay, so um, it's seared on both sides. I put um, some Coke in there, a bottle of Coke with um, an onion seasoning packet, and then I put some onion in there. This is a pretty big roast, so yeah. And then she seasons her vegetables with a uh, ranch packet. I'll put it on the side of the screen. If I tell y'all the secret of how to get your roast, this motherfucker tell me you got a promise that you won't say shit, because I can already see my granny taking me out of the motherfucking wheel. When she find out, I told y'all her damn recipe. Baby, just look at it. It's hot, but it's damn show tender. You see it. But let me tell you how to do this shit. So this don't have nothing to do with nothing. But I fried me some bacon because my fat ass was hungry. But hell, I also need that bacon grease so I can get a nice sear on both sides of my motherfucking chuck roast. Look at those motherfucking grill marks. Uh huh, baby, that skillet doing what it's supposed to do. Then you're going to cut your veggies and get into this motherfucking knife. It's beautiful, sharp as fuck, and I personally love it. But don't nobody else send me a motherfucking knife if you're going to rush me to chop some shit up. The link is in my bio if you want it. And here go the motherfucking secret ingredient. It's a motherfucking Coke. And bitch, it will tenderize anything. So mix it with your onion soup mix packet and watch it motherfucking work, bitch. Season your carrots and potatoes with a ranch seasoning packet. Add your onion, celery, and one stick of butter. And fuck your cholesterol, bitch. Put some thyme in there. Now shh, bitch. Enjoy. So I'm gonna add these veggies in here and stir it up. Rest of the ranch. And then she had some butter. So I'm gonna do that, close it, and then I'll see it in about seven hours. So, yeah. So this is Benji. Say hi. Say hi. So this is Benji, y'all say Yorkie. He's so freaking cute. Hey, baby. So officially you get to meet him. He's super cute, y'all. I'm gonna insert some footage of him playing um, with his toys. But look at him. Aww. He's so cute. So he was just sleeping. Um, we got a lot of stuff for him. Um, but that's his bed. He has a blanket. He has a lot of toys. I'll show y'all like his food and his treats and stuff that he likes but yeah he does have a cage that we leave open and let him go in and out if he pleases and then he is potty trained but when i leave i do put a puppy pad down but yeah look at him he's so super cute hi hey so yeah y'all say hey to benji in the comments okay benji <laughs> so yeah there he is y'all so cute so tiny he's like 10 to 15 pounds and I love him. Oh yeah, here go my new running shoes, y'all, for the race. All right, I'm about to leave him, so I'm gonna give him a little snacky snack so that he doesn't miss me when I'm gone because Babe's not here either, but yeah. Say bye. Bye. -bye.
All right, gang, so I'm back from getting my prescription and running my errands and doing everything I have to do. So I am, no, I'm teaching him not to come in the kitchen. Y'all let me know what type of boundaries y'all have with your dogs, but yeah, we're not doing the bed and we're gonna keep him out of the kitchen where we like cooking stuff, but everywhere else he can go and we are not keeping him in the cage. Anyway, so, um, and that's him playing with his toy. But yeah, so now that I'm home, I'm going to go ahead and continue the meal prep. So I'm going to do about a pound of ground turkey. And typically, I just season this up, put it in a bowl, and we can eat it however we like in a wrap on top of a salad, plain with rice, whatever. So I'm going to make some ground turkey. I already made about two cups of rice. I make this every week, and I'm just going to put it in a bowl. That way, you can pull it out. Just eat it when you want. Then y'all know I put this on before I left. So this is the roast. It is coming together beautifully. Um, smells so good. So y'all, he having fun. I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah, I got potatoes. I got um, carrots. I got onions and then the roast. So yeah, I'm just gonna cover that up and let it keep on cooking. And then we have plenty of sides as well. So yeah. Then in the sink, got some chicken um, defrosting, got the steaks. And again, I found these steaks for $7. They were $15. And these are just going to be for like babe in the morning with eggs or whatever. And then I have a little more ground turkey because um, I don't want to make too much. So, but I'm thinking I might make this. I don't know. So, yeah, this is just the sink situation. Okay, so yeah, that's what we got going on right now. Oh yeah, and then I am baking some biscuits in the oven to go with the roast for dinner. And then with the roast, I did make rice. So we can either put rice with our roast or um, I'll probably make these. You can put it over this as well. I like my roast over mashed potatoes. Babe, I think likes both, so yeah. And then after I finish this, I'm gonna do my nails, fold clothes, and get ready for the week. All right, y'all, and I'm pretty much done cooking, so I'm doing my press-ons, and they look really, really good. I finally perfected how to put them on without any air bubbles, and y'all, they look so good, so that's one hand. I'm gonna do my other hand. Um, these are the press-ons that I'm using. I'm using the Salon Acrylic French and Square. Y'all, I've been doing my press-ons, but I low-key was struggling with um, getting them to not have air bubbles, so if you look closely, they look so good. They don't. So if y'all want like a another tutorial or an updated tutorial on how I did it, let me know. But it's just all in the buffing. And then, yeah, I match up the numbers, um, like the numbers on the end of these. Let's see. You can't really see. Oh, yeah, see, like, number 10, I always match up all the numbers with the numbers on my other hand, so they're the same. So, I'm going to go ahead and do them, but, yeah, these are the nails that I'm using this time. Oops, sorry, y'all. I really like them. I'm going to do this, then I'm going to let them dry, take a shower, and then I am doing something special for Babe. I'm doing him like a spa night, so I am going to get ready for that, y'all. I'm going to set it up with the towels nice and warm i learned the trick on tiktok where if you put your towels in a crock pot it keeps them warm i'm gonna give them a facial a massage and then i'm gonna have my little um mini fridge with like wine i got some mini wine and then i'm gonna put some hennessy shots in there so i'm about to clean up um shower and then set up for babes like spa day so yeah all right gang so it is monday 12 o'clock so happy monday y'all now my daily routine when i work is coming home to check on my baby so i always come home on my lunch break to eat and then i'll take him on a quick walk before i go back to work so i still got like 40 minutes on lunch so I just made me a quesadilla. I used some of the turkey that I prepped yesterday and just some cheese with taco seasoning. And I'm dipping it in a little bit of light ranch. And then, of course, I have a 
Diet Mountain Dew on the side. After I finish eating, I'm going to go walk this little one. I'm going to go walk him um, after I finish eating. But I like to eat first and wash my hands. So, yeah, I just wanted to show y'all what I had going on. I am going to show y'all, like, the dog food that I feed him. Y'all let me know any suggestions. But, yeah, this is my low-carb out. The boy. Um, y'all know this quesadillas. I always make them. Mm-hmm. I'll be back. Yeah. Hit me. All right, gang, so I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog, but I did want to show you guys a couple things. So I got Benji this container, a jar, and this is where all of his, like, treats and snacks and bones are going to go. So this is his favorite bone that I found. It's at Target. It's Chicken Field, and it's the Ultra Chewy one. It is a um, treat bone, long-lasting, zero raw high, highly digestible, and these are pretty good. Um, I do break them in half because he's such a tiny dog that I break it in half so that he can have, you know, another piece later. It takes him a couple days to eat these, so he has two. And then he also likes um, anything chicken flavored. Um, so he has some like chicken jerky and yeah. And then as far as his food is concerned, let me show y'all. And as you guys can see, this is a 12 pound bag. This is the food that he likes. So it's the filet mignon, it's the Caesars, 100% complete. Um, balance support small dog health. Um, real beef is the first ingredient, and I just got him a big bag. He likes this, um, and it's small pieces because he's such a small dog. So, yeah. So, yeah, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog. Y'all say bye, Benji, and we will see him in the next video. Say bye. We just need to slow the motion. Don't get out of way to no one long distance. I need you. When I see potential, I just gotta sit.